Uh, really? Pope Francis goes public to support an RFID chip. Folks, I've been preaching and preaching that this is a false prophet. And uh, this is actually an old story. I don't know how it slipped through the cracks, but it's out there and it's real. Uh, yeah, he has come out of support and says they're not Satanistic. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. Take the mark, people. Take the mark is what he's trying to tell you. This is a direct quote from him. We have examined the scriptures thoroughly, and I can exclusively say that there's nothing to indicate that the RFID chips are satanic in any way. If anything, these devices are a blessing from God himself bestowed upon humanity to solve many of the world's ills. Uh, yeah, take the mark, folks, is what he's trying to tell you. Uh, false prophet alert possible antichrist alert he goes on to urge his followers to be open minded in this era of new technology and advanced technological advancements well, you know the bible tells us of this it calls for this and it warns us of this that the false prophets would be there and do this and that we would have to take the mark in our, in our right hand or in our forehead in order to beg bar or steal with emphasis on the stealing part, because, uh, you know, a lot of people are going to say, you know what, that Pastor Kelly was telling me the truth, but the problem is that Pastor Kelly ain't going to be around to help you then. I'll be with my Lord, and I pray that you are too. But they'll be knowing, you know what, he was saying the truth, and, they, you know, well, we ain't going to take that mark, so we'll have to steal our food or whatever to get by. Now, eventually, you just get caught and forced to either take the mark or get your head chopped off. I mean, it's bottom line. And who in the world is going around chopping heads off? Hmm, two and two be fish, right? Well, this is what the Bible says about us. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall shew great signs of wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, it ain't to some, they shall deceive the very elect. Now, you know who the very elect is. I pray you do anyway. That's us Christians that are ready to go home. I pray you're with me, and if you're not saved, I have a uh, little sinner's prayer in the description box that uh, you can pray that prayer, but you've got to mean it. You've got to intend on being baptized if you're not already. And the Lord knows what's in your heart, so you can say it to your blue in the face, but if you don't mean it, it won't work. And besides that, you can say it in your own words. It's just a diagram, and you can insert your own words, but I pray you use it. Uh, look, folks, this is real. This is real as it gets. He's doing it right now as I'm making this video. He's getting ready to say mass in Madison Square Gardens. He's already been to 9-11 as he walked over from the U.N. Folks, they're worshiping this guy like he's the second coming. The only thing missing is he hasn't had a mark to the head, but other than that, he certainly, certainly is a false prophet. And I know I'm not the only one seeing that because I've seen videos all over the YouTube saying the same thing. I pray that you look at that sinner's prayer and you look deep in your heart and think about what you're doing in your life and you think about turning your life over to Jesus before it's too late. Folks, mark Pastor Kelly's words. It won't be very long and they'll be coming around with that marker. They'll be wanting to shove it in your hand or on and stamp it in your forehead for you to beg, borrow, or steal. And I emphasize again the steal. Thou shalt not steal, but you'll know better, but your kids will be hungry. I pray you're not the one listening to this after it's all said and done and saying, you know what, Pastor Kelly had it right. Read your Bible, people. Look, read Matthew. Read, read Revelations. Look at the news. Discern what's going on. Call on yourself. Well, if it's helped you in any way, you know, leave me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be doing this because I don't know how much longer the world's going to be around for Pastor Kelly to be giving you this message. God bless you one and all. We love you, but just remember, the Lord Jesus Christ loved you more. He died for you. God bless you. Amen.